in this video we will add some more objects on the sit out you can see a seat on the sit out and there are number of brackets around the seat let's try to make this see in the elevation you can see the seat and the brackets let's go to our 3d file before we create the seat we should make sure that the 3d seat is the active layer so over here i have created a layer called 3d seat and i'll just click to make it as the current layer now i'll just disable dynamic ucs okay and i'll go to polyline tool and i'll start drawing a polyline to trace the profile of the seat so i'll come to this point and i'll click this end point and i'll come back to this end point okay i'll just give an enter now i'll click on offset tool and i'll give an offset distance of 45 cm okay and i'll click this object to offset and pick a point inside to define the side to offset okay this is the width of the seat next i have to create an opening on the seat you can see that opening over here so let's go to our 3d file and i'll draw a polyline for that and uh, when i'm asked to select the start point i'll go to point filters and i'll select dot x off i'll pick a point over here and uh, point filters again dot y z off i can pick any point on this line so i pick this midpoint okay so i have got a, a line corresponding to this line over here if you need an idea about point filters please refer my exclusive video on point filters now i'll just pick perpendicular to complete this line now i must again continue the polyline command to connect these two end points okay now i would like to off all the layers except the 3d seat layer for that you can just go to a layer walk okay click on the layer walk in the layer panel and just click on that and it will show you all the layers just click on the desired layer to be displayed i want to see only the 3d seat layer so just click on that and it will just give close now it will give a warning that you are going to turn off the rest of the layers just click on continue to continue it okay now only the objects in the 3d seat layer is on and the uh, rest of the layers are in the off state you can see that here so using the layer walk you can display only a particular layer and the rest of the layer can be kept in the off state in one click next we have to extrude this profile to create the seat but if you want to extrude this profile you have to create a polyline boundary but in autocad there is a method using which the software will automatically create a boundary for you if you pick an internal point so instead of you tracing the polyline manually simply by picking an internal point the software will automatically trace the boundary for you this command is called the b poly command you can get the command either by typing the b poly using the keyboard or else you can just click on the draw panel and you can select the boundary tool from here so you will get a boundary creation dialog box which will ask you to pick a point inside so i'll just click on the pick point option and i'll pick an internal point here the software will automatically create a polyline boundary surrounding this point so you have got a message the boundary created one polyline you can extrude this boundary which you have created okay now you can give a value of 50 cm so i'll type 50 and it got extruded next i will fillet these corners okay because this is where you actually sit so you have to avoid sharp corner here so i'll click on the fillet command when i'm asked to specify the radius just click on radius to do it and i'll give a radius of 5 cm so type the value 5 and you pick these edges to be filleted okay now you have got a smooth edge here next i would like to add a beading work on this face for that i have to first create the profile of the beading using a polyline it has to be actually created on this face over here so i'll align the ucs on this face first so i'll click on the view tab and i'll select the face option of ucs command and i'll click on this face now just give an enter to accept this orientation next i'll go to home tab and select polyline tool and i'll start a polyline from here and i'll give a value of 5 cm okay then i'll go to arc option second point option and i'll pick a point over here then i'll pick a point here then and i'll turn the ortho mode off and i'll pick a point here then i'll come to second point again okay likewise i'll complete this profile i'll click on nearest to pick a nearest point over here then i'll come to line mode because the next segment has to be a linear segment so click on line to go to line mode and you just close it okay 
this is the profile to create the beading now i'll make a path along which this profile is to be extruded so activate the dynamic ucs if it is not active then i'll go to polyline tool then i'll highlight this face okay so this face is the construction plane now click the start point here next point next point and i'll just click these endpoints now click on extrude and select this profile to be extruded and you go to path option and select this particular path along which this profile is to be extruded now you have made a beading you can just orbit it and see how it would appear when you look at this face of the seat you can see that it's too plain so in order to make it more interesting we will add a bit of detailing on this face so let's switch over to the wireframe representation and i'll just orbit the model using the navigation bar i'll make a rectangle on this face but before that you have to align the uses on this face so i'll click on the view tab and i'll select the face option of uses command okay and i'll pick this face and i'll give an enter so i'll go to a rectangle tool and i click the first corner over here and i'll go to dimension option when i'm asked to give the length i'll give the length as 5 cm and i'll give the width as 30 cm and i'll pick the opposite corner point over here next i'll position this rectangle on this face but in order to position it precisely i'll draw a line so i'll click on the line tool and i'll click on the first point over here and the next point over here and then i'll click on the move tool and i'll select this rectangle and i'll select this as the base point and this mid as a second point now it is positioned precisely along the vertical axis next i'll move this rectangle again okay through a distance of 10 cm in the positive x axis direction so i type the distance 10 next i'll extrude this profile in the negative z direction through a distance of 1.5 cm so i'll click on extrude and i'll select this rectangle and i'll give distance as minus 1.5 because it is in the negative z direction next i'll go to array classic command because i want to generate multiple copies of the same extruded rectangle and i'll give the number of rows as 1 number of columns i'll give as 11 and uh, the row offset is 1 and the column offset is 15 you can just preview it this is how the multiple copies will appear and i'll just give okay to accept this array next i want the same copies to be created on this face it can be done by mirroring these extruded rectangles about a 45 degree axis so let us switch over to the plan view so i'll click on the view tab and i'll select top okay now I'll go to modify and I'll select mirror and I'll select all these extruded rectangle using a standard window. I'll click on this point as the first point on the mirror line. Then I'll specify a point which is at 45 degrees with respect to the first point. For that, you can just click on the polar tracking and right click here and you set the snap value as 45. If it is not set at 45, okay, when you take the cursor somewhere over here, it snaps at 45 degrees now just pick a point over here and give an enter now what happened is these extruded rectangles got mirrored about a 45 degree axis as a result you have got the multiple copies in the horizontal direction now let us switch over to the isometric view and let us do a bit of rearrangement and positioning so i'll erase these two objects as well as this one because that's not required now i'll position it along the positive x axis so i'll click on move tool and i'll select all these objects and i'll position it like this by moving it slightly in the negative x direction okay this is the right time to subtract these objects from the seat so i'll click on subtract and i'll select the seat then you just give an enter and you select all these objects using a standard window okay you can shade it go for realistic shading and you can click on the orbit tool in the navigation bar and see what you have done this is how you add some level of detailing in the front and left side of the seat to make it more interesting next we will create the brackets around the seats the brackets are commonly used in traditional architecture let's see the procedure to create it in autocad let's move on to the elevation drawing 
In this drawing, you can see the profile of the bracket. These profiles are filled with blue color. So first of all, we will try to eliminate these filled areas from the drawing. The filled regions are nothing but hash patterns. So give fill command and you can just give off. Okay, then you have to give a, a region command to regenerate the drawing. Now the display of filled areas are temporarily suppressed. Now we can either create a new profile right from the scratch by using this as a reference profile or else you can just copy this profile and you can edit it to create a new profile. So I'll click on copy command and I'll select these lines in the profile and I'll select this as the base point and I'll click to define a second point. Just escape to cancel the copy operation. Now you have to connect these endpoints. Okay, so using grip editing, just click on it and you drag it to fix it there and just click again and you drag it and connect with this endpoint. Now this open ends are to be connected. For that I'll create a polyline. I'll pick a point to define a straight segment. Then I'll go to polyline again. Then I'll click on arc option. Then I'll select a second point. Okay, I'll go to second point and I'll pick a point over here. Then I'll connect it with this end point. So you can just select nearest option from the tools to get this point. So you can just activate O snap and you just go to nearest. And you select a point here. The nearest option will let you define a closest point. Okay, then I'll click on the trim command and you cut off this portion. Okay. Now these segments are to be converted as a single profile before extrusion. So let's go to modify and join and select all these profiles to convert that as a single object. Now you can bring this profile onto our 3D file. So I'll select the profile and I'll press Ctrl C to copy to the clipboard. Now when you look at the layer, you can see that this profile is kept in the zero layer. Let me switch over to the 3D file and I'll paste it here. But before you paste it, you have to switch over to the wireframe representation and you should make sure that your zero layer is on. So I'll just click on the zero layer to turn it on. Now I'll press Ctrl V to paste it. Now you can keep the cursor on this face. It got aligned. Now you can just make a pick to insert the profile. Now it has to be properly positioned. So I'll click on the move tool and I'll select this profile. And this is the base point and I'll select this endpoint as a second point. Next I'll extrude this profile. So I'll click on extrude and I'll give a height of extrusion of 3.5 cm. So I'll type that value. Next I'll array this profile to get multiple copies of it in the negative y direction. So I'll give array classic command. Okay, then I'll uh, select the objects to be arrayed as this object. Number of uh, rows is 11 and here the number of column is 1 and the row offset is minus 70. You can give these values and the column offset is 1. You can just preview the array. You have got sufficient number of multiple copies kept along the y direction. Now just give enter to accept this array. Next we have to create cross members. To create a cross member, I'll first create a circle over here then I'll extrude it. But if you want to make a circle on this plane, you have to align the UCS there. So I'll click on the view tab and I'll select the face option of UCS command and I'll align the UCS on this face. Just give an enter to accept it. Now I'll click on the circle command and I'll select a center radius method. Disable dynamic UCS and I'll select this point as the center point. When you are asked to give the radius, you can give the value 1.25. Now we have made a circle. Next we have to create multiple copies of the circle along this bracket which will act as supporting members. Let's create a friend elevation. So I'll click on the view tab and I'll select friend to get it. Then you can disable O snap. Now you can see a slight segmentation over here and that can be eliminated by regenerating the drawing. So give a region command. Using the move command I'll move the circle and I'll keep it in the right location. You can keep it close to this profile. Okay. Now you can generate multiple copies of it. So I'll go to copy command, select this profile and I'll keep one here. Okay. Another one here. Then one more here. And the last one I'll keep somewhere over here. Now I've got five copies of it. 
okay now just press escape to come out of the copy command now let's go to southwest isometric view so i'll go to view tab and i'll select a southwest now you can see the circles which we have created now let's extrude these circles so i'll go to home tab and i'll click on extrude and i'll select all the circles when you're asked to define the height of extrusion you don't have to give any values but instead you can just pick a point to specify the height activate osnap and you pick a point over here now it got extruded i just go to shader representation and you can just orbit the model and you can see what you have done these are the brackets you have created in fact when you recline over here these brackets will support your back that's the main function of these elements next we have to create a copy of the same bracket onto the front side so i'll go back to wireframe representation and i'll switch over to the top view by clicking on the view tab and select top now i'll just mirror this cross members along with the brackets onto the side so i'll go to home tab and i'll select mirror from the modify panel and i'll select all these objects using a standard window when i master pick the first point on the mirror line i'll select this and this is the second point on the mirror line these two points has defined actually a 45 degree axis we have performed a similar kind of mirroring before now just give an enter to get a mirror image now we have to do some arrangements on these optics so let us switch over to southwest isometric again now i'll move all these members using the move command when i'm asked to give the base point i'll select this as the base point and uh, this end point is a second point now let's take a front elevation so i'll go to view tab again and i'll go to front and i'll erase excess elements because we need lesser number of brackets here now you can just move this bracket the last one and you can keep it over here let's take a northeast isometric and we have to reduce the length of these cross members which are extended beyond the brackets before you adjust the length you have to give union command to combine these as a single object now you can go to move faces option and you can select all these faces or else you can use the solid edit commands face move option to perform the same activity the center is the base point when you're asked to give second point you can make use of point filters to define it in fact you have to move in the negative x direction so the y and z coordinate will remain the same so you can shift right click the mouse to get the point filters and i'll go to dot y z off the same point when you're asked to give x you can select the x from this end point i want the cross members to end here next i'll mirror all these objects onto the other side so i'll click on the modify panel and i'll select mirror command and i'll select all these objects using a window when i'm asked to give uh, the first point on the mirror line i'll right click o snap and i'll disable nearest okay because that's not required it was activated before i should select this midpoint as the first point on the mirror line when you just click over there when you take the cursor over here you will see uh, the tooltip corresponding to midpoint just make a click there okay now you have to define a second point that second point should be defined in such a way that these two points can define a vertical axis so i'll press f8 and i'll pick a point straight down so that these two points can define a vertical axis and just give an enter to get a mirror image okay now i want to turn on all those layers which were turned off before so i'll go to layer walk and i'll select uh, the layers right from first to last except the plan layer then i click on close and just continue now you can see all the layers let us go to a southwest isometric and see what you've done let us switch over to realistic representation click on orbit from the navigation bar this is the procedure to create the sit out with seats and brackets in autocad isn't it looking aesthetic i hope this exercise was interesting thanks for your time take your own time to practice it and get back to me for any clarifications